by phone, Jacob from Champ Sports. Jacob, are you there? I think so, we might have just sounds lost like him. we may have just lost him. He might be getting the same directive from the sheriff's deputies who appear to be going door to door in the mall. The employees and the customers who had been hunkering down behind the closed gates of their stores are sounds like they're being ushered out of the mall as the sheriff's deem fit. And w my producer in my ear was just saying, and is this outside of Champ Sports? Okay, that a clip from a machine gun was found outside this store that he wow. witnessed. Um, we're getting a lot of different reports as people call in. Um, we understand the Bath and Body Works person who talked to us said that she got a phone with the 911. They told her at least three people had been shot, but again, our official word was that at this point, two victims. Um, there were a lot of people hiding out in the back of stores all throughout that mall. People are very concerned, clearly, con you know, terrified. We heard from Billabong. Uh, they heard the shots were fired in the food court. Again, when these things happen, well, you could spread. imagine just uh, the pure resonation yeah, yeah. of the bullets. Right. If that would have happened in the central area. Of the Hard mall. to tell where it's coming from. We're seeing right now a live shot from the scene. You can see Brian McMillan gearing up, uh, potentially ready, maybe to talk to us live but you can see that scene in the background and again they are blocking off that entrance or that exit to the mall uh looks like that car's trying to get in anyway probably no not a clue uh and they really are doing a wide perimeter here because if you're familiar with Clackamas town center at all you know the parking spaces as uh, any large mall are, are quite large and this is across the street from the actual mall parking or the mall property so they're not even letting anybody in that very large parking area so you know they're very concerned about this scene all right we are going to bring you brian just as soon as we can but right now we're going to talk to uh, julie grauert who has some more information for us from the newsroom julie. yes hi guys i am going to give you a little bit of perspective as to where this best buy mobile may be on the website it says it is on the second floor in the b area which is this area in green right here and uh, Ashley, who we spoke to from Macy's, was telling us that she saw two men, one had a mask, and that she thinks the shots were fired outside Macy's, and that those glass partitions around this Best Buy mobile ha were completely shattered. So, this is the first floor right here. Macy's is... Uh on the first floor right here. Second floor, Macy's is over here. And then this green is where, on the website, it says that Best Buy mobile kiosk, kind of smaller version of the store is. And she's the one who told us that she thinks it happened in that area. And she saw two men, two shooters. And uh, so that is what I know right now to give you a little bit of perspective as to where this may have happened. Keep in mind, there's a movie theater right here. There's a Macy's Home Store. But as far as we know, that Best Buy Mobile is in this green area on the second floor. Back to you guys. It's a food court. Okay, Julie, thank you. I think uh, Brian McMillan is now ready to go uh, live from the scene. Brian, it must just be incredibly chaotic out there right now. It, it really is. It, there are a lot of people just kind of on looking out here that were at the uh, Clackamas Promenade. Oh, but uh, just across the street here, this is what we're looking at right now. Police have blocked off the entrance to the south side. In fact, they blocked off every entrance and exit here to uh, Clackamas Town Center. We've seen in some cases uh, some folks being evacuated from certain parts of the mall. These two gentlemen right here were inside the Macy's uh, when the shooting occurred. What did you hear? We were probably about 100 feet from everything and when I was trying pants on and about it was just like six shots rang off and then everyone kind of stopped thinking something fell and another like six to seven shots just rang off again. Now, did it sound like an automatic weapon, or did it, what did it, it sound? It sounded like an automatic weapon, yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what did you do when that happened? Well, we stopped for the first six shots, and then we heard the second, and we started just running like everyone else did. Everyone just started running towards the doors. Okay, yeah, give us a feel of what, what it was like in there when the shots rang out. Did, did people just start running for the doors? Did they, Was it chaotic? Uh, well, at first, no one really knew what was going on. Um, probably someone didn't really think it was actually a shooting, but once everyone started to realize that, you know, what actually happened, uh, just chaos, started, everyone started yeah. looking at it. We got out of there as soon as possible. Okay. Now, could you tell exactly where the shots were coming from? Uh, well, the echoes kind of diluted the, uh, the sound a bit, but it sounded really close, about 100 feet at the most of the way. Uh, but we're in the downstairs Macy's, and we've gotten reports from, from other people saying that it was either outside or, like, up by the food court. Okay, and obviously you guys came across the street yeah. here. You're not able to leave right now. Your car is still in yeah. there. We tried leaving. We tried getting to our car, but then everyone started running towards us again, saying he was, like, outside or close by. So we just came across here because we wanted to be safe. Yeah. 
There's no, you, I didn't feel safe just sitting right there, so I just, we just came across the street. People kept saying just start running, so we just decided to cross the street to be safer, you know, a safer distance. Yeah. So. Obviously not what it, you expected uh, no. coming to the mall today, for sure. No, not at all. Okay, no all right. Surprise. All right, well, we're going to try and get more information out here on the scene, but for now, nobody is leaving, nobody is entering the Clackamas Town uh, Center area, Ooh. and not only that, the traffic is really bad around this area as well. Well, thank you, Brian. You know, we understand that the last phone interview we had when we introduced him and he had to hang up very quickly, it's because he was being evacuated. So people are being evacuated out of those stores. We also heard from a manager of one of the stores who said the SWAT team was just behind her store. Uh, Fifteen people were locked down in that position. No one was hurt there. But again, you know, we haven't heard any official word from police on this, but it right. sounds as though... They are actively searching that scene. Exactly. They are taking extra care to make sure that people can be sort of ushered out of the mall in a safe manner. So they're, they still, you know, that would tell me that they still consider there to be a threat. The other thing about this particular mall, if you've been to the food court there, you know there are a lot of amusements for kids. There's a mm -hmm. carousel. There's several games in that particular area. So that is particularly concerning to me that a shooting would have happened in that general area where these families are eating and these kids are playing. If you're just tuning yes, in, we are soft. following breaking news this afternoon. Right around 3.30, a call came in that shots had been fired. Now, initially, we were told it happened inside the Macy's at Clackamas Town Center. But the what we're getting from witnesses, it sounds as though, and this is not the official report, but it sounds as though it may have happened right outside of Macy's near that Best Buy mobile store. Uh, one of the people inside Macy's told us when they, she looked out to see what was going on, she saw that there was a woman on the ground being treated who looked as though maybe she'd been shot. There were windows blown out of that Best Buy mobile store at the mall that's right across from Macy's there, and that she saw two men, and one of them had on a mask. So, you know, police clearly clearly all over this scene. Looks as though maybe they are allowing people to leave the parking lot now. For some time, people have not been able to get out, but it's hard to tell from this perspective. Is that what I'm looking at, people now coming I out? I think they are coming out, but we are seeing an officer going up to each and every window. Perhaps they are checking these cars just one last time before they're allowed to leave the property. We're hearing reports from all kinds of stores in the mall, uh, locked down, customers hiding out in the back. We have, uh, by phone now, a witness. Kelly Lay joining us now by phone. Uh, Kelly, are you there? I am there. Can you tell us where you are and what you saw today? Uh, I just actually just got on the 205 uh, highway from Clackamas Town Center. <laughs> was in the food corridor and witnessed a guy in all black pulling out a gun and opened up firing about eight rounds over the top of my head. Uh, hitting the wall behind me, ricocheting. Uh, people were running for their lives. Uh, something I've never seen before in my life, and very devastating. I actually pushed a lady out in the wheelchair, uh, and people were just running frantically. Kelly, did you? Did it look as though it was in the process of a robbery, or did it look as though he just came into the food car court and no, started firing? It just, looked, it just looked like it was just a random pull out a gun and start shooting. And Kelly, were you able to see which direction he went after that, or were you, or you were just in such a, a hurry to get out of that area? Understandably. Uh, I thought he was in a hurry to get out of the area. A lot of panic. I didn't really start worrying until I started seeing the bullets actually hitting the wall behind me and ricocheting around the people. That's when I really got worried. Did you actually see anybody being hit when this happened? I heard the two ladies or the two people that got shot get screamed and say, I'm hit, I'm hit, and then that's when everybody just took off running. And Kelly, how many people would you say were in that food court at the time? Oh, God, there was probably two, three hundred people in that place, at least. Now, we heard from another witness who saw a man in a mask. Did the gunman you see, was he wearing a mask? I did not see a mask. I did not see him wearing a mask at all. All I could see was, like, uh, flames coming out the end of a barrel. And you described his clothing as being all black. Did it look like, I mean, were these casual clothes? Were these sort of, you know, the clothes? No, that you... were like some kind of camel fatigue type clothes, I would, okay. I would assume. And did he seem to be working alone, or did he have anybody with him that you could tell? It was by himself, by far by himself, I'm sure of it. So, Kelly, you were just presumably sitting there eating your lunch, and, and then this happened? So, I mean, talk to us about the suddenness of this. I was actually this. ordering my food from Taco Time, waiting for my food to get done, is how that happened. And all of a sudden, the shots just rang out right over the top of my head. I glanced to the left. I seen a guy just firing off rounds, and a flame just opened. And that's when I basically took off running and hit behind a pillar. And that is such a big space, Kelly. It must have just ricocheted. Like, the sound must have just gone on and on. 
Oh, it hit, it hit. There was bullets that hit all over Jakarta, uh, the Taco Time. I mean, you, they, they hit the signs, they hit everywhere in there. I mean, it, it was the most devastating thing I've seen. I can't, I can't even imagine, Kelly, what you've been through. We so appreciate you talking to us. Would you mind holding on the line for us for just a couple of minutes? Sure. We have another witness we want to talk to as well. We will get back to you, Kelly. Thank you so much. We want to join, is it Tina by phone now? It is, it's Tina. Hi, Tina. What can you tell us? Where are you now? Where were you and what did you see? Well, we're, we're safe now in our car on our way home, but we were out front of Macy's. They had a fragrance uh, table set up. We had just finished deciding what we were going to get, and someone screamed away does that man have a white mask on, and then it was, he has a gun, and he started shooting, and I, we, we, he was probably 10 to 20 feet from me, and there was at least 20 shots fired. Uh, I just I ran up behind a register and grabbed the phone and called 911, and I had my mom and my daughter with me, and it was just pretty much one of the serious things that's ever happened. So, Tina, I cannot imagine the terror. And you're saying it was a person in a white mask? A plow black white mask, yes. Yeah. And the, the other witness oh, we were what? talking white to mask? said that he was in the food court and saw somebody open fire. So did, from your perspective, was this person walking down the mall from the food court fire? He was, from where I was at, he was running. So I don't know, if, you know, after we, they said that and we realized what was going on, we took off through Macy's and there were people just like carrying their children, screaming, saying, you know, get out, you've got a gun. And we got out to the front and the police officer said, just leave and get, get as far away from here as you can. So I, you know, we asked the policeman on the way out if they needed, you know, witness statements or what. And he just said, just call back in where, you know, we want you to get out of here and be safe. So, Tina, how long was it? Now, this happened probably around 3.30 or so. So it was three, Well, I looked at the clock. Uh, it was 3.20 when it happened, and it, the whole thing from start to finish was probably a good five minutes, wow. probably the longest five minutes of my life. Um, it just seemed like when the first one went off, we thought it was like a balloon popping or a firecracker or something like that, and then as we realized what it was, you know, and people are screaming and running and the terror of people are, you know, there's just people throwing things everywhere and just, you know, like, get out of the way, I'm getting out of here. And Tina, we were talking about how, you know, we know a big thing right now, people take their kids to see Santa. Where is the uh, Santa area in relation to where this was happening? Did you happen well, to notice? We were, we, it was upstairs and the Santa is downstairs, kind of, um, you know, at the entrance closer to J.C. Penney's. Okay. Um, over by, you know, down downstairs, and that's where the Santa thing is. And so upstairs, down a little bit way, ways, definitely right in the food court area. Couldn't, you know, tell you if he was aiming for somebody, if there was. I, the only thing I could tell you is as soon as I saw him, we just knew that it was, you know, it was serious and we needed to get out of there. So, Tina, so, when you left, when you left the mall, you were able to get outside the Macy's there? Uh, we were, but we, I mean, I'm, we yeah, left like minutes. I mean, we're talking as soon as it happened and, he, and, he, and the gun, you know, the gun shot stopped, we ran, you know, for the, out to the door. So okay. we You hunkered we didn't down even first. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Now, how long did it take you to actually leave mall property? Because it seems like police were kind of holding on to people for a while. Was that the case? You know, they didn't start doing that because they, police had barely even gotten there when we were leaving. I mean, we were running out. The, the, I grabbed my daughter and held on to her for dear life and my mom and we just, you know, we ran to our cars and the police were barely showing up as we were leaving and they were telling everyone to get as far away from the mall as they could. So they must not have started shutting things down until probably 10 minutes because we, it only took us literally, you know, 10 minutes maybe to get onto Sunnyside Road. And Tina, how is your daughter? She's 17. How's she doing right now? She's pretty shook up. We, we couldn't find her at first, and so, I, it, you know, imagine the sheer terror of, of screaming your daughter's name and, and wondering, you know, does this person have your daughter? Is Where is she, you know? And she finally called me on my cell phone as I was running, you know, like, screaming your name. She said, I'm out front, I'm out front, just come meet me out here, so... Wow, Tina, we're just so glad you're okay. Thank you so, Thank you much, so much for calling us and letting us know uh, what you experienced today. And uh, just so uh -oh. I can sort of wrap my brain yeah, around this, was the person you saw wearing all stretcher. black with a white ski mask? Yes. Is that what you're saying? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. And just, just uh, one quick note, it just really puts everything in perspective. You know, when you're worrying about the Christmas 
stress, it just puts it all in perspective that you have your child and your mom to hug at the end of the night. Well so. said, Tina. Thank so you. well said, Tina. Thank you so much for uh, sharing your story with us. It's now 427 on this Tuesday. You're looking at live pictures from Air 12 over Clackamas Town Center, where for the last hour or so we've been reporting about a shooting that took place inside the mall. You can see the army of first responders that are converging on that area right now. No official word from oh. authorities yet. That's we presume that because they are still ferrying people out of the mall in groups, that there may still be an active search for whoever is responsible. We've talked to a couple of witnesses who describe the gunman as wearing all black. One of the witnesses did notice the mask. Another witness noticed a mask. I'm sure this happened so quickly it's hard to see what's going on, but from their perspective, from we talked to Kelly, who was in the food court when this happened, he says the guy just randomly opened fire. Uh, the shots were ringing out, hitting the wall behind him. Um, people, just mass chaos, hundreds of people in that food court. It sounds as though, from witness uh, reports, that this was just a person opening fire, not in the middle of a robbery or anything else, just opening fire. And we do want to continue getting more perspective from witnesses. We have Mina on the phone now. Mina, can you hear us? I can hear you, yes. Thank you so much for your time. We know this has been a traumatic day for you. Where were you when this happened, and what did you see and hear? Uh, I was in the Macy's store, and um, a tall, slender, white guy um, dressed in all black wearing a, a hockey mask like the Friday the 13th kind of uh, white hockey mask carrying an assault rifle in the wide open. He had it clutched against his chest. He was holding it diagonally, and he was just jogging through the store toward center area, the uh, center of the mall. Um, and once he moved through the Macy's and into the public area, we started hearing the gunshots. What and, was, oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Nina. Oh, it, oh and it was just a, a flood of people who began running away from it. Um, but, it was and, but a lot of people witnessed him. He wasn't the gun at all. He just yeah, jumped through. Really he looked like he had a plan. And, um, and it wasn't until he got into the wide open public area that he started shooting. So he, he was not looking like he was trying to rob anything. He looked like this was his plan. So from your perspective, it, he, he possibly entered into Macy's from the outside, but ran through Macy's specifically heading for the center of the mall, potentially. Where's the food yep. court in relation to the, this? Is the food court right there? Uh, the food court, yeah, he, he ran in through the Macy's, um, exited into the main area, and uh, that would have been facing the food court across the mall. And what was your, I can't even imagine what must have been going through your head before you heard the shots fired, but when you saw this guy running through Macy's with the hockey mask, wearing all black, holding that assault rifle, uh, did it even... What went through your mind? Did it even register what was happening at that moment? No, it certainly caught our attention. A lot of people watched him run by. And the first thing I thought was it have to be something funny, uh, like a flash mob, a group of people getting together to do something silly in the middle of the mall, because no one was really responding. It was just surreal. And so the guy passed by, and it wasn't until after the shots were fired that, that we realized it was something that was very serious and tragic. And then, Mina, what did you do? How did you get to safety? I ran uh, the opposite direction um, out of one of the back exits of the Macy's store, and people were were just beginning to run then. We would have been kind of the first people to hear and the nearest to the exit, and so, so a flood of people ran out, and at that time, we could still get out of the mall. Um, so I got out to the parking lot. Interestingly, I got to the parking lot, and uh, someone was unloading his baby from a baby chair or from a child seat in the back of his car right next to the car that I was getting into and I turned to the guy and I said someone's shooting a gun in the mall and he said oh brother and kept unloading his baby as if he was going to still go in and so I'm not sure anyone really knew to take it so seriously. Well I think like you said Mina you're you never think something like this is going to happen and like you said people yeah. maybe thought flash mob or something um this is just an unbelievable thing to happen in our area. Did you see anybody get hit or you just heard the gunfire and ran? I didn't. No, I saw him right as he was running in and getting ready to do it. And I would I would expect that just based on the fact that he was holding the gun in the wide open, that he definitely would have just entered through one of the doors in Macy's, run through Macy's and into the main courtyard that way. Okay. Mina, thank you so much. We really appreciate you calling in and sharing your story. Um, 
uh, glad you got out of there safely, and uh, best of luck to you in dealing with this. Just sort of Thank you. We're just back. keeping all the families in their prayers and, and just you know, praying for, for good things for, for everyone who's been affected. Yeah, as mm -hmm. are we. Thank you so much, Mina. We saw all a right. helicopter, Ben. Um, right. Does we understand that that is the life flight helicopter that was coming to the area um, to presumably pick up someone who has been injured and needs more uh, a, speedy, uh, a speedier ride to the hospital, as you can imagine. Uh, putting an ambulance on I-205 or 84 right now would be uh, kind of nightmarish with the rush hour traffic going on. So Life Flight has landed at the Clackamas Town Center. For those of you just joining us, it's 432 now. Judge Judy is not on right now. We are preempting that with our breaking news coverage of a shooting that happened at that mall in the middle of the Landed? Christmas rush while hundreds, yeah, maybe thousands of people were inside the mall. Life Flight has yeah. just touched down. Wow. And uh, they, we do know that Sunnyside Road, Probably the on and off ramps through. to 205, that is the off ramp that you take to get yeah. to Clackamas yeah. Town Center. They yeah. are closed, so nobody is going to be uh, getting on or off the freeway in that area. Um, we're looking at Life Flight. You can see that people have gotten off that helicopter, presumably, as you said, to load a patient on. Um, boy, we've talked to these witness reports and it's just unbelievable, it's chilling, chilling mm -hmm. to imagine what they experienced. I don't really want to go away from these pictures just yet, but we understand Brian McMillan is standing by live. Brian, can you hear us, and do you have any new information for us? Well, we've just been talking to witnesses, people that were inside the mall uh, when the shooting happened. Here's the scene right now. Uh, they have it blocked off for people going into the mall area, obviously, right now. But people have uh, started to be able to leave this south entrance here of the Clackamas Town Center. We did just see Life Flight land uh, on the southeast corner of the mall area, uh, presumably to get somebody uh, some very immediate help. Now, we've had uh, ambulances try to leave earlier, and uh, they weren't really able to because the traffic was just so jam-packed here on this south end of the uh, Clackamas Town Center. So things are clearing up a bit. Uh, police have blocked off certain areas, and traffic has lightened up. I want to talk now to uh, Julia. Julia, you were inside the Macy's when this happened. Tell me what you saw and heard. Actually, I didn't see anything, uh, but I was just walking into the entrance of Macy's, and immediate, immediately to my left, I heard very loud gunfire and repeated shots. Um, I was trying to count how many there would have been. It was something like maybe 10 to 14 that I think I heard, and uh, it was really frightening. Yeah, what was the scene like in there when these gunshots started going off? Was everybody running around? You know, actually, I just began sprinting out toward the exit myself, and uh, I think people looked dazed at first, and then they started realizing that, yes, this is gunfire, and they began running out the store along with me. How long did it take for police to arrive uh, what, after you heard the gunshots? Oh, they were here so quickly, maybe um, a minute, two. Uh, it seemed like there was a uh, presence yeah, of security that, immediately. And obviously, you're a little shaken up here after all this. I am. Yeah, not, not what you expected at the mall today. No, not at all. Just a peaceful day of shopping. Okay, well, yeah, I've been talking to a lot of people out here, uh, Ben and Shauna, who are, are just really no shaken idea. up by all this. And I'm some of them didn't like, see what happened, oh, but they heard the gunshots, obviously, very credit. loud, and there were a lot of gunshots know. inside as well. Uh, we're going to keep talking to witnesses like, out here and try to gather some more information. We'll send it back to you for now. All right, Brian, I can only imagine you saw the people people being evacuated as they were coming out of the mall, just the looks on their faces and how, even if you didn't yeah, see it yourself, to know no. that this happened and how close you came. You know, we talked to several witnesses, we're piecing together the story, and from Everybody the witness perspective, what we understand is a tall, slender, white man uh, wearing a hockey mask, that's the white mask we were hearing about, a hockey mask, and wearing all black and carrying an assault rifle. Uh, one of the witnesses says she was inside Macy's and saw him jogging through Macy's. Basically, uh, you could imagine him coming in maybe from the outside, going into Macy's, went out into the public area outside of the Macy's, which I apologize that I'm not okay, very so familiar with the way the mall is set up, but I'm assuming the food court is right the there in that court. area. It's kind of nestled. He it looks sort like of, by the food I mean, court. It kind of goes out to where those theaters are. We're looking in, in the left the box here court. of, of the, I mean, yeah, the alleyway it's between it's a store places. and the movie theater. And if you go up that alleyway, you enter in the food court. It's a little sort of uh, triangular area of the mall, and that opens up to what we know is sort of the main walkways that go to all the other stores. So it's partially open to the bigger mall, but it's kind of. 
have to walk through the food court with a, a big gun? I mean, seriously, somebody's going to know this. Somebody's going to know this, definitely. And that Go destination the was this public Not area where notes. hundreds of people were in that food court, according to one witness, and he just started opening fire. Uh, a man said he was ordering his food, and, and the guy just broke out the gun and started firing. It went over his head, but he said it hit the wall, was ricocheting around, and people just ran for their lives. We have another witness on the phone with us. William Ferguson works at the mall. William, are you there? Yes, I am. Can you tell us where you are right now and what you saw and heard today? All right. Well, I am currently at the Denny's across 82nd from the mall. Um, I, uh, at the mall, I work at, uh, I work driving the kids' train. And the turnaround point is basically just around the corner from the escalators up to the food court. I'm doing a, I'm driving the train, and as I'm making that turnaround, I suddenly hear a bang. At first, I think it's just something falling down, but then I hear a second bang, a third bang. At that Is that point, the I realized station? what was going on. I Driving got the heck station. out of the train, opened up the back car, got whoever was out of there, there yelled at them, run, get out of here, just started running, making sure everyone telling them, get out of the mall, get out of the mall, get out of the mall. Um, I ran as far as I could to my friend Orion and uh, my coworker, who was supposed to be changing over with me. We made sure as many people got out. I got out of the mall. He made sure people got out, got out, and then followed about uh, two minutes later. William, did you say you had kids on the train at the time? Uh, it was. Uh, I did have passengers. It was a mother and his, uh, her son. And did they seem to understand what was happening, or they just when you said get out of here, they just ran for it? They they seemed to know something was going on. They they were very scared. They were very frightened. The second I opened the door, I just I yeah, grabbed the shoulder and just kind of pulling, the them, camera. pulling them towards the door of the train and just kind of pushing them to, toward um, away from the shootings, telling them get out of here, get out of here. Don't don't worry. They'll explain everything later. Just get out of here. Go. Did you see anybody trying to run down the escalator and and get out that way? Uh. Not that I, not that I recall. Um, I can't actually see the escalator to the food court from where I, uh, from where I turned the train around. And William, as a person who works in the mall, how would you characterize the, the amount of people in there today? What was the volume like? Um, I'd have to say it was, um, it wasn't as packed as it could be. As, um, as you know, Christmas is right around the corner, so shopping is higher uh, than usual. Um, I'd say it was moderate for a Tuesday. Okay. William Ferguson, thank you so much for calling and sharing your story. We appreciate that. We're just glad to know you got out okay and the, and the child and mother who were on the train got out okay. So thank you for that. You are very welcome. Thank you. And as you mentioned, Ben, I mean, this is a very kid-centric mall. Oh. I mean, there, like you said, there's train rides, there's a carousel, there's, right. you know, um, obviously right the Santa Land yeah. right there. Um, we want to check in now with Julie Grauert um, with some more information about the mall and sort of the setup there, Julie. Yeah, we need Sh or Shona and Ben, I want to take you on a tour of the mall. Right here is a Macy's location. That's on the second floor. It's a two-story store, and then here's the home furniture. Now, the Best Buy, the mobile store that we heard another witness talk about all the glass being shot out of that, that is located right here on the second floor in this green B version. As Ben was mentioning, the theater is right here. There are 20 theaters there, and then right kind of around the theaters in that triangular shape is the food court where people come and go. Now, that's a look at this. There are also one more thing to note. One, two, three, four, five, six points of entry in the mall entrance. So when those shots were being fired, those are the places that people would try to go as fast as they can and as soon as possible. I also want to show you what's happening online right now because, of course, Twitter is a place where everyone goes when something like this and is happening. The Clackamas Town huh? Center Twitter page right now gives no indication as to what has happened, but it does mention they have 180 stores, they have 20 screens, it's over a million square feet, so it is a huge store like you two were mentioning. Now, right now on Twitter, there are trending top topics of Clackamas Town Center and hashtag Clackamas Shooting, and they are That's within probably every 30 seconds to a minute, 20, 30, 4, 
40 fresh tweets about what's going on, a lot you know, of prayers, prayers going like, out, a lot of information worldwide. that's coming out, and we're working to and confirm like that there are witnesses that are the saying friend? what they've seen and heard. There are other that's people huge. talking about kind of some hearsay as to what they know. So we are working to confirm those, and we are posting our own updates on Twitter as well, so keep an eye on that. I will have more on the location of the store and the hours and how the Santa experience may have been impacted by this coming up in just a little bit. Ben and Shauna, back to you.